Today I'm sharing with you another Whole Foods budget-friendly recipe video. You guys really love the last couple that I've done. I do want to preference this video by saying no, you don't have to shop at Whole Foods to make these recipes. I just shop all over to find the best deals and to stay inspired with my cooking and what I share for you guys. And plus, we all don't shop at the same store. So the more stores, the merrier. Am I right? All the ingredients you can find in today's video at any normal grocery store. There's nothing of specialty items, even though that's a lot of times what we think when we think Whole Foods. And I will actually say a lot of the items that I purchase every single time I'm out grocery shopping at Whole Foods, I purchase them because they are at a similar cost or lower cost than my local grocery store via whether it's a sale or not a sale. Sometimes you just got to shop the sales. You got to find the best prices and that means going to multiple stores. This video is 10 meals for $16 and each meal is per a serving, if you will, because if I'm the only person eating these meals, then they'll last me for 16 servings. But anyways, let's jump into the small little grocery haul I have. I will be using some seasonings that I have on hand in my pantry because that's what we all do when we are cooking, no matter if we're on an extreme budget, a low budget, or just a normal to us budget. But let's jump into the grocery haul and then of course the delicious meals, which I do want to add are inspired from Pinterest. I will leave both inspired recipes link down below I made them extremely low budget so I did remove a lot of the ingredients from each recipe but those are the recipes that inspired me so you can follow them however you would like hopefully they're really delicious sometimes as you know Pinterest is so hit or miss okay here's the haul if you watch my most recent grocery haul this all looks super similar to you am I right that video will be linked up above so make sure you check it out if you want to see all the groceries I got for the last three weeks plus some 10 minute meal ideas okay so we have some baby spinach which cost me about three dollars this gluten-free spaghetti which the corn and rice is my favorite blend of gluten-free spaghetti let me know in the comments below what your favorite is I feel like most people like brown rice but this one for me is the best when it's like left over like the rest of them kind of get mealy a little bit but this one I feel like hangs on to its texture when it's left over so I kind of like that so I can make the whole package if I want to this cost me about a dollar 85 which is such a good price for gluten-free pasta we got a lemon and a bulb of garlic these were super inexpensive I feel like these are expensive th inexpensive things wherever you go I just got the conventional not the organic and really it was just kind of based on what they had in stock whether I got organic or conventional potatoes I picked this bag up for about three bucks which is actually a really good price overall for five pounds of potatoes potatoes kind of go in swings they're like up in price then down in price up in price down in price but I talked about this in my grocery haul recently. The russets I've been getting at other stores, when I get home, there's like a wet potato in the bag and then most of them are gross. And that's happened to me so many times. So I decided to venture to a different store and that way I wasn't having any food waste. And here we are, a bag of russets. And I just love this color so much. Like sometimes marketing just gets you. I shared these in my last Whole Foods video, which I'll link down below if you wanna check that one out. Two meals for $8. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They are roasted chili and lime pinto beans, refried pinto beans, and I get this question every time. Yes, they are vegan. So, love that about Whole Foods. You never have to like guess on the 365 brand. If it's vegan, it'll be stamped vegan and then it'll tell you like why. And I love that. Like why as in like if you have a baked good, it'll say like the, the mixes, but not the whole recipe, if that makes sense. These are so good. So, so good. We are making a sauce in today's recipe and it calls for Dijon. So I went ahead and picked this up at Whole Foods because I didn't have any on hand. I don't know the difference between like if, it, if an organic mustard tastes better than a regular. Dijon is one of our favorites. I was actually shocked that we didn't have it on hand, but we're using quite a bit in the recipe. So I thought I'll pick it up and just use seasonings that I have on hand. So I'm not technically cheating with prices. And this cost me about three bucks, which is kind of comparative to mustard at my normal Smith's or Kroger Co. And then the last thing is a frozen broccoli, which actually has been really hard for me to find as of recent in any other store, Kroger, Walmart, Target, none of them have it, but I found this, and this is about $2.50 at Whole Foods, and that's not a bad price for a pound of broccoli. 
and they're the florets, which is even better because then I don't have to worry about picking out the stalks. I'm not a big fan of the stalks. And broccoli for me, I talk about this all the time, I can eat it if it's really real, well roasted, then I'm fine. If it's just like fresh or kind of sauteed and cooked, my tummy doesn't really like it. There's the tiny little haul. Can you guess what we're making? I bet you can't, unless you cheated and peeked at the Pinterest recipes in the description box. The first recipe is a Dijon and rosemary russet roasted potato with roasted broccoli. And oh my gosh, on Pinterest, it looks so good. So of course I had to make it. And I'm gonna also throw in some garlic with the potatoes once we chop them and wash them. And then for a side to kind of add a little bit more protein, I am going to add the pinto beans because I thought that just sounded really good. Because last time I made like roasted broccoli with pinto beans from Whole Foods and I just wanted it again. But if you didn't know, potatoes, about a medium sized potato has five grams of protein. So no, you don't need to add extra protein if you don't want to, but I just thought it would be really, really good to kind of dip your potato and your broccoli into some refried beans. How good does that sound? So good, right? All right, let's get chopping and washing and get this meal started. While I am cutting and chopping this first meal, I'm gonna to talk to you about something I am so passionate about. If you haven't figured it out by now, saving money, being frugal, financial freedom, I am so passionate about talking about those things. So we're gonna have a little chat. While I'm cutting and chopping, welcome to my kitchen, friends. I am so excited to share with you all that today's video is sponsored by Albert. Thank you all so much too for supporting me when I have sponsored content, it means the world to me. You all know, if you've been around my channel for any amount of time, my husband and I went through a debt-free journey starting in September of 2020. It took us six months to be completely debt-free. We paid off close to $35,000 in debt, and we get so many questions over that time. It literally felt like it was taking forever, but also looking back, it's like, wow, it happened so fast. After we became debt-free, we decided we no longer wanted to put our hard-earned money towards rent, and we decided to look and purchase our first home, and we moved in about two months ago. The reason I'm so excited to tell you about Albert is because I feel like they can be a huge tool in your financial success. I will be the first to admit, I personally am terrible at managing money. I'm really thankful that my husband is really good at it, but if you're like me, Albert has a team of financial experts called geniuses that will look at your situation and help you make a plan and answer your questions whenever you get stuck. For us, our traditional bank used to charge us monthly fees for a checking, a savings account, maintenance, and overdraft fees. The reason why Albert is awesome is because they are free to sign up, easy to use, and they automatically help you save. They will look at your income, expenses, and see where you can save money. Sometimes this might mean that you're, they're just transferring a little bit of money over to your savings, but all those little dollars add up. Not only is Albert going to help you save money, but you can actually earn cash back between five and 20% on your normal purchases. McDonald's, Walmart, Starbucks. You can all get cash back by using their debit card. They have no overdraft fees. You can get up to $250 whenever you need it. Albert will spot you up to $250 instantly if you're ever in a crunch. You can also get paid up to two days early to help kind of float your finances if needed. I am so excited to bring you this offer from Albert. I know if you're like me and you're really passionate about your financial journey, whatever that looks like to you, whether it's to save, cut back on your expenses, or become debt-free like us, they are here to help you out. Go ahead and click the link in the description box or go to albert.com slash running on plants to download the Albert app today. That's albert.com slash running on plants for a limited time. When you open a checking account and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150. And just like that, we have some roasted potatoes. Pinterest did not disappoint on this recipe. Highly, highly encourage you to try this one. It's linked down below. Thank you for chatting with me while I was talking about the Albert app. By supporting Albert, you are also supporting my channel, and I thank you so much for doing so. Guess who forgot to put the beans on the side? And I literally just ate this for lunch, but I'm going to crack this open and disperse it amongst this. I can't believe I forgot that. But anyways, just imagine this with beans on the side, okay? 
because I did forget it. <laughs> okay, meal number two. She's tiny, but she's gonna be mighty. We have some pasta, garlic, lemon, and spinach. We're gonna do a lemon garlic pasta, but we're gonna roast the garlic. And I'm going to do that little like pop it and put it in the um in the aluminum foil and pop it in the oven, and it's gonna be so good. And then a lemon sauce, and of course some micronutrients and some greens. We got spinach. It's gonna be so good. I know there are a few different ways to roast garlic in the oven. I only had aluminum foil on hand, so that's what I used. And I did use a little bit of avocado spray. You'll see, I think he used like three sprays, so very little. This was amazing. It is definitely time consuming because it did take 45 minutes to roast, but oh my gosh, my mind was going 100 miles an hour thinking of all the ways I could use this roast garlic in hummus, in sauces, eating it just as it is. It's so good. It amped up the flavor of this pasta from like a 10 out of 10 to like a 20 out of 10. Simple, easy recipes are not only budget friendly, but you have to learn to utilize the ingredients you have, especially being whole food plant-based. You have a lot of ingredients you can use, but at the same time, it does kind of feel limited when you are trying to be super budget friendly. So I highly recommend trying out both of these recipes. Neither of them disappointed. I feel like I'm a solid two for two on Pinterest this week and I'm super happy about that because oftentimes I won't even share the recipe that was inspired for me on Pinterest because the recipe doesn't even turn out. The amount of food my husband and I have made since my time on YouTube that we have made and not shared is amazing truly I, I shared a flop a few weeks ago you probably saw that video it was in a meal prep video and it didn't turn out and I was like you know what I'm gonna share it with you guys because sometimes even in my kitchen things don't I'm not a professional chef things don't turn out I'm just finding things that work for me and sharing them with you that's my entire journey here on social media is to just be true to myself find what works for me and share it with you guys and I just thought this was like the prettiest dish I love lemon and green together i feel like it's just beautiful it's so pretty isn't this just beautiful so try this out super simple super easy definitely will give your taste buds like magical powers i just had to tell you really quickly this meal tastes amazing the roasted garlic so good. If you're a big garlic lover like me, you're going to love this. And the reason I leave the lemon in the pot is one, I don't have a zester. Definitely need to get one of those. But two, I think that's a Giada thing. If I remember correctly from the Food Network, she always says to leave the lemon in there and kind of let it steam. Adds so much flavor. You would think this doesn't have a ton of flavor because it's just a little bit of lemon juice and some roasted garlic and spinach. But literally, it is so delicious. I hope you guys give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching this budget-friendly video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did not see my Target budget-friendly dinners, $4 dinners from Target, I will link that one down below. Plus, stay tuned because I have another budget video coming at you on Monday. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. And I always tell you, turn on your notifications so you never miss a video by me. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.